Good morning, uh, Pastor Sean here. I'm coming to you from uh, just outside of Nashville, Tennessee, um, doing a little road trip before heading off to a conference this next week. So um, we're, we're, we're on location for, for the next few days. Um, but this is your morning prayer for uh, this is uh, Friday, July 18th, 19th, 19th. <laughs> so let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, so today uh, we are in Genesis chapter 32. And um, this is one of my favorite um, favorite parts of the Old Testament uh, is is when Jacob wrestles with God. Uh, it's a very strange event where um, Jacob is 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 fearful of Esau because as he's going, he hears that Esau is, is coming after him, and so um, he he tries to put some distance between him and his wives and, and family and all that, and so he wants to um, try to spare them or or just kind of you know, deal, deal with Esau on his own. So, um, as he's all alone now, um, he has this interaction with God where God appears to him, um, as, as a man and wrestles with him. And, um, you know, we, we would look at, uh, generally speaking, I think we look at this as, um, likely kind of wrestling with the pre-incarnate Christ. Um, but, uh, he, he wrestles with, with this man all night long doesn't really get anywhere until um and he, he tells him like uh, the 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 man who he's wrestling with says let me go um and Jacob says you know I won't let you go until you bless me and then this man touches him in his hip, hip socket and it throws him out of joint and and it, it's over at that point but um well let me just read you the verse that we're dealing with so Genesis 32 uh verse 28 and it says then he said your name shall no longer be called Jacob but Israel for you have striven with God and with men and have prevailed. And so the whole wrestling episode is, is interesting um, and odd, <laughs> mostly odd. But, um, you know, what we see here is that in, and he gives him the, the new name Israel. So now Israel, all of Israel, um, is, is now kind of uh, marked by this wrestling with God and man and prevailing, which, you know, you follow the whole history of the people of Israel um, throughout all of you know, the Old Testament, and yes, they, they, they wrestle with God. Um, they wrestle with, with, with man, with all of their neighbors and all of the uh, uh, forces around them. Um, but the interesting thing about this is, is the prevailed part, where he says, you've wrestled with God and men and have prevailed. And it's very interesting because did Jacob really prevail? I mean, he hung with them all night long. I mean, there there was no, you know, they were both kind of at a at a draw the entire time they wrestled. Um, but you know, as he realizes that he was wrestling with God, he he, he you know, God could have won <laughs> in an instant. Um, in fact, um, the the thing comes to an end when God simply touches his his hip and throws it out of the socket. So um, you know, we look at that and say, well, how did Jacob prevail? And um, you know, one of the ways that we come to Scripture is, is to always see, see Christ in it, through it, in all, uh, in all things. And so, um, you know, what we see with Jacob is the only way that we can consider him prevailing here is that God allowed it to happen, that God allowed him to prevail. And so, um, you know, we, we always see in, in these Old Testament figures these kind of types of Christ, um, sometimes good types where we see like, okay, this is a good example who, that we see made perfect in Jesus Christ, or we see kind of a very poor example, and we see how Jesus Christ is the, um, the perfect example of what that bad example was supposed to be. And what we see here with Jacob is, is certainly kind of the, the bad example of, of one who has wrestled with, with man through deception, through manipulation, through all sorts of means that, that we would consider um, less than good. And he has prevailed. Um, and then he str struggles with God. He wrestles with God. And <laughs> he, he prevails by, by losing. Um, and, and the only sense that he's prevailing is because God allows him 
to prevail. And so when we when we look that forward and kind of put Christ in the center of all of that, we see well how how does Christ um, do this in a perfect sense? You know, as as the real, um, complete, perfect Israel. Um, well, Jesus certainly wrestles with with men and prevails. I mean, we don't we don't need to kind of um, you know you, you see where. He, he wrestles with all of mankind and prevails. Um, but then wrestling with God and prevails. Um, you know, we see that Jesus um, is the only one who, um, you know, who wrestles with God and prevails in the sense that, um, you know, he does everything right perfectly. He submits himself perfectly to God's will. Um, when we wrestle with God, um, we, we lose. <laughs> um, we never do this well. We, we, don't, um, we don't prevail on our own merits, on our own abilities, on our own strength, anything. The only way that we wrestle with God and prevail is through Jesus Christ. He is the one who wrestles for us and prevails. He is the only one who is obedient, who is submissive to God's will, who is uh, placing himself perfectly um, under God for us. And so the, the prevailing that we see here in Jacob, we see that fulfilled in Jesus Christ for us. And that, that is the only way pr we prevail when we wrestle with God. And especially when we, we consider how we do wrestle with God um, in our everyday lives, when we're wrestling with, you know, this reality where we're saint and sinner at the same time and trying to struggle with that and dealing with that tension, um, wrestling with God, trying to um, uh, humble ourselves before him and, and trust in him and, and allow him to lead us. Um, you know, we fail at this all the time, even when we do pretty well. Um, there are many times where we've struggled along the way. We haven't done it very well at all, if, if at all. Um, and so the only way then that we prevail is through Jesus Christ. We, we trust in him. We cast all of our everything to him, and he sees us through and brings us through it. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fantastic story, um, an account of um, Jacob encountering God, and now we see how we wrestle with God, but only prevail through Jesus Christ. So good, good stuff. All right, let us pray. I thank you, my heavenly father, through Jesus Christ, your dear son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands, I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Blessings to you on this Friday. Hope you have a great day today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow from uh, just outside of Nashville. So until then, uh, peace be with you.